Hey, I'm Ainsley with Curbside Cycle, and today we're checking out the Riesen Muller Tinker. Most folks who live in cities know that space is at a premium, and the Tinker knows this too. Its smaller, compact design makes it perfect for bringing indoors and keeping safe from thieves. Its small size isn't the only thing, though, that makes this bike great for urban living. The wider tires give you cushion on rough roads, as well as protect you when crossing streetcar tracks or grates. The front suspension fork gives you all the comfort that you need on rough roads and bad tarmac. Every good e-bike is composed of three parts, a battery, a motor, and a display. And all three of these parts need to work in tandem to make a bike that works well. And this bike uses the active line plus motor. This bike is great for stop and go traffic as well because it gives you even gentle acceleration instead of the rocket ship feel you'll feel on cheaper e-bikes. This motor is designed specifically for use with smaller e-bikes and will assist you with speeds up to 32 kilometers an hour, at which point the motor will cut out and you'll be on your own steam. It'll give you four different settings, eco, tour, sport, and turbo to customize your ride and the amount of assistance that you need. Bosch systems always use mid-drive motors, which means that the motor is here at the pedals and the crank. What this means is that the power goes exactly where it needs to be, into the pedals, and is a lot more responsive in terms of feeling your pedaling strokes and knowing how much power to give you back. This bike comes with a Bosch Powerpack 500 battery. It'll give you up to 100 kilometers of travel on a single charge and is easily removable from the bike to charge indoors where it's dry and warm. The display on this bike is a Bosch Intuvia display. It's pretty simple, black and white with thumb controls for easy maneuverability, and it keeps your focus on the road where it should be. It'll give you information like speed, battery level, and distance traveled. The gearing on this bike uses a Vario Enviolo 380 hub. What this means is that it's gonna have continuous shifting instead of clicking up and down a gear set the way that a standard bike with a derailleur works. This gives you adaptability in terms of being able to choose the exact gearing that you need for the slope that you're on. This bike comes with a rear rack, it's got a 45 pound weight limit and is MIC equipped to pair with any MIC enabled baskets. It also comes with a bungee cord to make sure that you can keep all of your stuff secure. Now let's chat about the build options. The Cane Creek Thudbuster seat post is gonna give you a huge amount of comfort when you're dealing with rough roads. It's got elastomers built into it and has joints to allow it to bend backwards when you're going over bumps, absorbing huge amounts of shock. If you need more storage space than just the rear rack, you can go with the cargo platform. The cargo platform has a box that gives you 18 liters of space, as well as a plastic housing that can carry up to 24 cans. This bike comes with an Abus Shield rear wheel lock, which prevents someone from riding away from your bike when you're hanging out in the park with friends. You can also opt to get the additional chain lock with saddlebag, which gives you a little bit of extra protection in terms of locking the bike to something solid. The frame on this bike, like all recent Muller bikes, is made of aluminum, which is going to give you direct power transfer. What that means is that when you put a stroke into the pedals, it's going to go straight into the drivetrain instead of dissipating through suspension like regular mountain bikes. Aluminum is also tightly welded along the seams and rust-proof, meaning that this is a truly a four-season bike if you take care of it. This bike has an adjustable riding position, meaning that it's suited for riders of all heights. You've got a huge amount of versatility in the seat post, as well as adjustability here in the front to widen the cockpit for larger riders. There are also five adjustable points here to raise or lower the handlebars to match the needs of the rider. Like every other Vario drivetrain bike that Reese and Muller makes, the Tinker comes with a Gates belt drive. This is essentially motorcycle technology that's been adapted for bicycles. This carbon belt will last three times longer than a standard chain. This bike comes specced with German lights at the front and the rear. At the front, you've got a supernova headlamp, which provides tons of light to illuminate dark pathways. And at the back, you've got a Bush & Muller Top Light 2C, which kicks out a huge amount of red light to make you visible from behind. Thanks so much for checking us out. If you want more content on recent Muller bikes, e-bikes, Bromptons, or any kind of cargo bike, you can follow us at curbsidecycle.com. Our YouTube channel is a great resource in terms of learning more about the other bikes that we offer and is a great place to check out.